With spring weather finally settling in for good here in the southeastern U.S., wildlife movement should be increasing every day. Animals that have remained buried all winter long will be poking their heads above ground for the first time in months, giving explorers like you and I the chance to have some great adventures. My goal today was to locate and capture some dusky salamanders as they emerged from their brumation in the mud, which I did. I got right it. here. There he goes. I'd say I have to catch them. Put, put your hand in front of them. Alright, anyways, that's one of those bigger ones. Oh, that's a fat salamander. Whoa, calm down, dude. Calm down. That's a beautiful dusky. We'll get him back in the mud where he wants to go. But, wow, this is just an awesome day. Now, this guy I found in the mud down here while looking for more duskies. But, this is a really pretty specimen. He has those long legs. He's you know, being pretty calm right now, which I'm thankful for. These guys can bite, uh, but they're pretty docile spiders. But in addition to the salamanders and spider, I would also be encountering one of the most interesting and odd-looking creatures that we have here in North Carolina as well. Alright everybody, this is the Walder Port, and this is a crayfish. There are hundreds of species of crayfish distributed across the globe, with the most diversity occurring in North America. Going by a variety of names, including crawdads, freshwater lobsters, mudbugs, and yabbies, it is safe to say that these critters are a highly successful species. Why? The secret may lie in their ability to fill a different environmental niche depending on the ecosystem that they live in. You see, most animals that inhabit creek systems have a certain role to play in the food chain. If any organisms are unable to complete their job in the ecosystem, they will be forced to die or move to another habitat. Crayfish, however, are able to be a consumer, preying on small fishes and amphibians, as well as a producer, providing food for larger predators. But that's not all. These animals also act as a kind of environmental cleanup crew, feeding on rotting plant and animal matter called detritus. This service helps return nutrients to the living aspects of the ecosystem, and also helps control diseases and bacterial growth. There we go. Oh, oh, it's pregnant! Oh, hey! Yeah. We need to put this one back as soon as possible. Yeah. See those little legs? You got a good shot of those? Now you wouldn't think it, but crayfish are actually excellent mothers. All these little eggs, anywhere from 80 to a few hundred, she will keep right here under her flap. Now, they will continue to mature under there until they're tiny little crayfish. They look like little bugs almost. And then she'll let them out and they will go become crayfish just like her. So that's really cool. I actually get some close ups of those eggs. That's awesome. We'll get her right back in this water Don't because we definitely want that second generation of crayfish to arrive happily and healthily into this new world. Crayfish are amazing to catch. Now, there's no other crustaceans that live in these creeks in the Piedmont, and scientists think that these guys got separated from their saltwater cousins, lobsters, during periods of continental drift, and fossil records show that crayfish have been on Earth for about 30 million years. That's a long time for a species to survive. I've never been full-on pinched by a crayfish this big. I don't know if I actually want to or not, but to show you just how strong these claws are, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna let this dude, I think, if I don't chicken out, I'm going to let this dude pinch me. You got this. Alright, one, two, three. No, that didn't hurt that bad. Okay. I should, should I make this dramatic? Should I be like Cody Peterson and start screaming? <laughs> sure. Alright, he's actually not letting go. Please, let go now. We're done. No! Right, ouch. What about this one? Is this one her? So as you can see, crayfish pinchers are quite capable of latching on and holding on to prey items. Now this is obviously not a fish, this is my finger, but I can't get it out. So until he decides to let go, there's all those little serrated edges in this pincher, they just hold on and my finger is stuck. And if I was a fish, I would be this guy's next meal. Alright, let's get this little monster back in the water. Here he goes. But these guys' claws are just absolutely massive. I don't know. I mean, I've, I keep finding bigger and bigger ones every time. I wonder if these ones hurt than the last one. Hurt more? Let's give, a, let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't come in with that one. 
Ah, okay, yeah, this one does hurt more than the last one did. He wants, he wants something. Let me give him my thumb. Come here. There he goes. So now he's content. He has something to pinch. And, ow, I think he's not quite going to break skin, but it's definitely coming close. That doesn't feel great. Woo! All right, here you go, buddy. There you go. All right, this is the biggest crayfish I have ever seen. This thing is absolutely enormous. Look at these claws. They're easily big enough to wrap around my whole finger. So, because I promised you guys I'd be showing you just how powerful these claws are, I cannot pass up getting pinched by this guy. So, I know I'm not looking forward to this. I don't think I want to do this, but... All right, these things are big. One, two, I'll, I have to, he has to open it. One, I have to get my whole finger in there. Three. Uh. Oh, dude, that had power behind it. Jeez, that thing does have some power. Ow. Whoa. That's just, I mean, that thing has a strong claw on it. That's impressive. I don't, I mean, now, it's not, like, sharp enough to, ow, I'm okay. It's pretty sharp, too. Let me, I'll ask him to let me go now. All right, come on, please let me go. The, ah! <laughs> oh, this hurts. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That hurts worse than I thought it might. He has to let me go now. Go the end. Ah, oh, okay. I'm out. I'm out. No. Did I even leave it? I don't even think it broke skin. Yeah. I got, I got a little dent there, but other than that, I think we're fine. So, guys, don't underestimate the claws of the crayfish. I'm gonna get this lobster back in the water. Well, Team Waterport, that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new about the crayfish, and also had some fun watching me get pinched. New wildlife content comes out every Thursday morning, so subscribe right now to watch all my adventures. Also, be sure to follow my new Twitter and Instagram pages using the links in the description to get daily updates on my expeditions. This is The Wild Report, signing out.